like, who wants to stick their fingers in somebody's scalp? Not me. Shit. It's nasty. You see all that definition? I know you see that definition. I know you see that definition. You see that definition? I know you see it. You see the definition? I know you see it. Let's get some sun, baby. It's time to go. Calm it down. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how I define my natural curls. I get a lot of questions from people wherever I go on what I use in my hair, how I get my hair to look the way that it does, and it's so simple. I use three ingredients and that's it. So this is what my hair looks like when I have absolutely no products in it. I just got out of the I did it added it. I did it added it. I just got out of the shower. I can't even talk. And yeah, it's a little crazy, but I love it. It looks pretty shit. I might not do nothing to it. I'm gonna keep it like this. I get so many questions from people everywhere I go. Um, a lot of them from moms. Uh, moms that have biracial babies. So as you guys know, we're in 2020. There are biracial babies all over the place. We are taking over, okay? Now, I'm not saying that the way that I do my hair is going to work for every single person, which it's not. I just want to show you what I do and show you the products that I use for my hair. All of the products that I use together probably cost around, I want to get the exact price, so I'm going to put it right here. But yes, it's very, very, very affordable, very low in cost. I've tried high-end products, I've tried low-end products, and this is the formula that works for my hair. Now it looks like my hair is very, very thick. Right? It looks like it's very thick, but actually for me, I feel like it's very, very thin. And so my hair is not the type of hair that can withstand very thick and very heavy products. So the products that I use are very, very light and work perfectly for my type of hair. I've tried a lot of the most expensive products out there and a lot of them did nothing for me. I have them up on a shelf just sitting there doing nothing, collecting dust because I will never put those products on my hair again. So yeah, I found my formula, I found my products that I'm going to use for the rest of my life. And so I just wanted to make this video to help whoever needs it. I remember this one lady asked me, how early do I get up in the morning? And I was like, what do you mean, how, how early do I get up in the morning? And she's like, yeah, how early do you get up in the morning? And at the time I was like, uh, five? She literally thought that I curled each and every one of these curls on my head with a curling iron. But yeah, I, I get a, I get people asking me if they can touch my hair. I get people asking me if they can put their fingers in my scalp so that they can make sure that I'm not lying. They want to feel if there's anything attached to my scalp. How crazy is that? People are crazy. Like who wants to stick their fingers in somebody's scalp? Not me. Shit. It's nasty. So yeah, if you want to see how I define my curls, please keep watching. So I just wet my hair and I use a shirt instead of a towel to um, soak up the excess water in my hair because if you use a regular towel, the cotton just soaks up all of the moisture and it makes your hair really, 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 really frizzy. So that is why I'm using a shirt. So what I like to do first is I like to just put a little bit of old-fashioned baby oil all over my hair. I just take a little dab because a little bit goes a long way. So I just put just a little tiny palm full of baby oil and I'll just take that through my hair just to give my hair a little bit of the sheen that I like for it to have. Okay, so now I'm just gonna brush it out. And 
I just use a regular brush. I bought this brush from Ion. It's the anti frizz thermal brush. I don't know, I really love it, but I bought it from Sally's. Any y'all tender headed babies out there? So, what I do next is I grab the holy grail, my holy grail of all products. I will always and forever buy this product. It is the Tresemme Conditioner. Now, this product is not a leave-in conditioner, it is not a gel, it is just straight up regular conditioner. I use it as a leave-in conditioner. So what I do is I just part my hair, let me do that first. So I just take a little chunk from the bottom here and then I'll wrap the rest of it up. I'll take like two or three pumps. or three rub it in the hands and just start working it in the scalp So I like to make sure that I'm getting all areas of my head so that I don't get any crazy frizzy patches. It's not cute, girl. It's not cute. Now, a lot of people have asked me, do you get build up with Tresemme? And because it's a conditioner and it's not a leave-in conditioner, and I don't. I have never experienced build up with this product. Um, I've been using it for over probably 15 years now. I've been using it over 15 years and I've never once experienced build up with this product. Okay, so now that I've gotten every single area of my hair, I'm just going to take a little bit of my Rasta, Rasta, Lux and Twist Jamaican Mango and Lime Island Oil. This oil is incredible. I love, love, love this oil. It smells so good. And um, it has really helped with the growth of my hair. I used a little bit of the island oil on the bottom of my hair because I find that uh, my hair gets really dry um, on the bottom parts of my hair. So I'll put a little bit of island oil. I will insert some pictures here of how my hair used to look like a few years ago. Oof, it was not nice, especially in high school. I used to, um, I used to straighten my hair a lot and my hair just fried, completely fried. It lost its curl and it took it took a little while for, for me to get my hair to look like this again. What I would do with that is I would um, put, put it in my hair. I would put saran wrap around my head and I would sleep like that at night. Oh, poor Jonathan, poor Jonathan. You see, I told y'all, he go through a lot. He gotta go through a lot, y'all. He actually met me when my hair was fried. Funny, funny story, he met me when my hair was fried off. My hair was like this short. It was just a little bit curly at the, um, at the roots of my head, and then the rest of the strands of my hair were straight. It was terrible. So what I ended up doing was I went to Ulta and I bought the clip-in extension. It was like a half head clip-in extension piece. And um, who made? Jessica Simpson made them at the time. They were about $80 a piece. It was literally a half a head of hair. So what I would do is I would straighten this part of my hair and then I would put this in a bun. And then I would clip in those straight um, extension pieces put the put the top of my hair down so you know it, it hid it hit the bottom areas of the hair piece and I would I would live like that <laughs> so Jonathan met me that way and I remember one time we were both sitting together on the couch and this was nine years ago when we first met and he was scratching my head right I had like I had my head on his shoulder right and he was scratching my head and I was like moving around because I knew that I had an extension piece right there and I didn't want him to feel it. And he was like scratching my head right here. So I was like, okay, I'm good, I'm in the clear because the piece was right here. So he was like scratching right here. And then he went down and he's like, 
what's that? <laughs> and I was like, is it, is it Steve Chang? Have you ever dated a black girl before? It was so, so, so super funny. We still laugh at that story till this day. He was just so confused. He didn't know what to say. And I just, I was just like, what? You ain't never dated a black girl before? And it, that was that. The conversation was over. He never brought up hair ever again. I think he was traumatized. <laughs> so from here, I'll just let it air dry. It takes it takes a while to air dry. So if I have to go to an event or an event, calm down. So if I have to go to a birthday party or a wedding. So if I have to do any of those things, then I'll take out a um, blow dryer and I just put it on the cool setting. But if it's just a normal day, I just let it air dry and you can see that it will grow throughout the day. So I'm gonna go let my hair air dry for a little bit and then I'll be back. Okay y'all, so this is how my hair looks after it has air dried. It is completely dry. Throughout the day, I'll just like scrunch my hands through my hair just to give it a little bit more volume throughout the day. And it'll start to grow bigger and bigger as the day passes. So I hope this video helped. I only used three products. I used the baby oil, I used the Tresemme conditioner, and I used the Rasta. Jamaican mango and lime island oil. So let me do a little spin for you guys You see all that definition? I know you see that definition. I know you see that definition. You see that definition? I know you see it You see the definition? I know you see it So I really hope you guys love this video on how I define my curls Again, this little formula that I put together will not work for everyone, but I know it's gonna help somebody out there who's struggling on finding the right products for their hair. So if you like this video, don't forget to give this video a like. Go ahead and comment any questions, comment what you liked about this video. If you use Tresemme already and Tresemme works wonders for you, comment Tresemme girl. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to this channel so that you won't miss any of my future uploads. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Let's get some sun, baby, it's time to go My neck look darker than my face y'all but it looks good in person okay and if it looks good in person that's all that matters okay this neck is the same color as my face in that mirror it's all right i'm still cute it's okay i'm still cute i'm still cute why am i so close why are you so close to the camera